So before I start, this is what you can create with this mode. Food inflation has accelerated strongly to a record high. Uh, food inflation at 13.3. Big inflation comes down. Okay, the first thing you need to do is just head over to my Gumroad page. Anyone can download this, it's free of charge. Though I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel or leave me a comment. Once you proceed to check out, you get a Google Drive link where you could just download it on your hard drive. Now let's head over to Premiere Pro. Now we're in Premiere Pro. You should see Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see it, it's just in Windows and just take this Essential Graphics. To bring it to Mogut, you only need to drag it into your Essential Graphics panel and you could just bring it down to your timeline because I set the timeline as HD but this Mogut is done in full 4K, it's done in uh, UHD. I'll keep the existing setting because I can scale it down altogether. So when you head over here to string it down, I'll just make this scale to 50% just to fit the comp uh, or timeline. So this is already set up. Um, now. On here you can see a list of parameters or controls you could do with this. So first of all, you could change it to whatever you want. I did this project for another client and they wanted uh, some very specific text. But you can use it for anything you see fit. Probably something on the news or trending topics or anything you like really. Uh, climate change is a good one. Uh, if you do that change to climate change or inflation as you see in the demo or just something else just I'll just leave it as climate change for now and then there's the text scale where you could make it smaller or bigger you can change the size of the mask behind the text there's a control here so this was all done in After Effects where you could uh, change the border of that that's a text size dynamic as well meaning that if you change when the text changed the background cutout gets changed as well in real time. But you could also make it smaller or make it bigger. You can see the border here. You can shrink it or expand it as you like. So this is really, you get lots of control with this one. So let's see what else you could change. So that's the background mask. Highlighters. There are four highlighters out there. Uh, let me just find one. So let's say there's uh, this yellow highlighter there. So this one is this one. So you could change it to whatever color you like. Let's say I want sort of like a, a sign or green or whatever color you want. You could do that. Same with the other highlighters as well. They're full there. But if you, in case you don't want them, you could just toggle the opacity down to zero then you won't see them at all. But I'll just leave it at 100% for now. Blur effect. So the blur effect is to control the uh, how much blur you have on the background text. So at the moment it's set at 38, but you could bring it down. So as so I bring it down, you can see more of the background text. Or if I bring it up, you can see they're more blurry in the background. I'll just leave it at um, 38. As it was. Ah, text background. This is uh, where I spend a lot of time doing. So uh, you could change all the text and you could control the position, the scale. So let's just do this first one. Say, for example, you have the text uh, or something else. Say, I don't know. Hello. I'll just do it here. And you want it to be really big by taking up the whole of the screen. And then the size of the background image and hello doesn't match. You could increase the size to make it fit. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then you change the size of the mask. But you only need to change it once because once that's set, uh, it will follow all the font. If you want, you could replace this background image as well. But make sure you have a alpha background. So it's it's only the text is showing. Let me quickly open up Photoshop to show you. So now we're in Photoshop. I just create... Uh, so I created a 4K canvas and delete the background. Usually it doesn't really matter what's in the background, but in case you do want people to notice it, it's, it's better to be irrelevant. So let's say if we have hello, then you probably want all the other, maybe hello in all other different languages. So, okay, maybe I'll just copy this. Yeah, 
I'll just do this. You can use whatever fonts you like, but try to avoid fonts give you like squares or symbols. I'll quickly edit this to make it fit. And I'm going to just save it. Make sure you export it as a PNG with a transparent background. Now back in here, let's say if we bring in, I just bring in the PNG file and then I replace it here. And then you can see now you have all the hello in the background. Uh, I need to perhaps make this cut out a little bit smaller. If you don't like them, you can change them back. In the download link, I've included the original PNG files. See, that's how you could change the background. Now, because all the background images there on a loop, uh, once you've changed them, they will automatically date for the rest of for the rest of it. And also at the bottom of the control panel, there's this texture that is to control what the newspaper texture on here. Again, you could change it to something else, let's say a sandpaper or just a plain white paper, or you could just disable it by changing the opacity to zero. I didn't, add, let me just bring this back to, to make it a bit smaller. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I did not add the 3D animation in, uh, I'll just do this 3D effects in Premiere. And honestly, it's a lot easier to do it that way. So I'll create um, a background image. And I'll take the color of the back, drop it down there. And on this layer, I'll bring in basic 3D effects. Now you could turn this whichever way you want. So to recreate the, the effect I've shown in the demo, what I'll do, I'll make this 90 degrees, give a keyframe, I'll go seven frames ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it to about 45 degrees. And let's say at about six seconds and 15 frame. Keeps going, 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 going. Minus 45. Then another seven frames. And then minus 90. I think it looks good for just about seven or eight seconds. I'll make it seven seconds for this one. That I created this program for 10 seconds, so you've got more flexibility, but seven seconds is a good length. So let's preview this. So yeah, looks good. And what you could do, you could add another blur effect, use the adjustment layer so that I could blur everything below. I then bring in the fast blur effects, drop it onto adjustment layer and I just blur everything, but I create a mask in the middle and feather it big time and invert the mask. Now you've got the hollow in the middle, but everything else is sort of like subtle. It looks pretty good. One other reason why I do not add this 3D effect in the mode is because with this, you basically have more control. Let's say if you don't want to like, um, 3D reveal you want to do like a like a zoom in of this and you can do that so you could do okay let me just delete this keyframes and bring it make it zero I could create another movement with this with a slow zoom in or zoom out and and two at the same time and this would just look very different and to be honest you could use it for so many different things so yeah this is really flexible uh and it's free and just feel free to use it i may have a few more updates i will put a new link out if i do uh, but i think this is very good you could easily use this for b-roll or intro and you could um you know just have fun with this uh that's it really i haven't got anything else to say Really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, it's new, but I'm hoping to bring out more free assets for, you know, editors, motion graphic designers like me. And with that, thank you very much again and happy editing.